Today I'm reviewing the HP ProLiant Micro Server N40L. This is HP's micro server line. Uh, these run off AMD processors. Um, this one is a dual core 1.3 GHz AMD Athlon 2 processor. It comes with 2 GB of DDR3 RAM and a 250 GB hard drive, which is an enterprise hard drive. So this unit here also supports uh, RAID 0 and RAID 1, which is a software RAID, which I'm not a big fan of. I prefer a hardware RAID for an actual server. It also has a 150 watt power supply and it has two memory slots. It default is it comes with one gig of RAM. So this box is actually a very small um, server. It's ten and a half inches tall. On the front here we have our Ethernet light, we have a hard drive light, and we have the power button. Uh, this you can actually put in whatever you want, a CD-ROM drive. It does not come with a CD-ROM drive. Um, you have four USB 2.0 slots. On the back here we have the key to unlock the front door, uh, a nice large quiet fan, Ethernet, two USB 2.0 slots, you have your VGA. This is actually an eSATA port and you have two expansion slots on the motherboard to put in network cards or whatever you want, um, your power supply fan and of course your power plug. Now let's turn this unit around and take a look on the inside. Let's open the cover here. Okay, so now let's also go ahead and remove the top. And this just slides forward and up. And here you have access to the top of the unit where you can, of course, add your CD-ROM drive or even an extra hard drive. Um, like I said before, I was actually able to put a RAID controller in here. Um, I was able to take this SATA cable, it snakes up here and over here, and actually um, snake it back around through the back and down, which gave me the added length to be able to plug it into the array controller. So that's possible and you can do that. You can also access the fan back here. Um, so there's the top off. Okay, on the inside we have four internal uh, drive bays. Now these are not hot swappable. In the first one here we have our hard drive that comes with it. It's an enterprise drive. And we have the other three bays here. Press down the button and it comes with the drive cage. Okay. Now on the inside um, we do have the memory uh, down on this side of the motherboard and I'm going to also show you on the side door here we actually have a bunch of screws here along the bottom which are for the hard drive caddies as well as we have some extra um, case screws here and of course HP is very nice to include their little Torx wrench and it stores right up there on the side. So what I love about this box is that it's a very small footprint for a small business, for a home user, for a you know, a Windows home server, um, this would be a great solution for you. Uh, the price is definitely right on. It uh, also works great for your Linux. Um, if you want to do like a, some sort of a Linux firewall or a BSD firewall like PFSense, you actually have an onboard USB 2.0 connector right there. So you could actually put a memory stick inside the case, close it all up, and be running either a a BSD off of it or a Linux OS off of it and then dedicate um, the hard drives to storage so you could even do something like FreeNAS on this box which would work really well it is a dual core processor so it's going to be plenty fast for uh, file serving um, also um, I'm going to show you actually how to remove the motherboard because it comes with two gigabytes of memory um, most people out there are going to want to go at least four Okay, so in order to get the motherboard out, um, there are these thumb screws here, and usually you have to use a little Torx to 
break them loose because they are put on pretty tight. But we're going to go ahead and undo the thumb screws here. And then we have a lot of connectors to disconnect. So we have the SATA connector over here. And this guy is probably the most difficult. It does take a little effort because it is such a thick cable that it really doesn't want to flex. So we disconnect that guy over here. Now don't worry about where all these connectors go. Um, in HP's wisdom, they did actually color code um, the connectors. So it's really easy to put back together. So just connect this one here. And now we get those disconnected. We should be able to get this thumb screw a little bit loose. And take this cable out of here. Feed that up. Up. And you got to make sure on these thumb screws that we get them all the way up because sometimes they catch. Okay, pull this cable like this. Now we're able to get the motherboard out a little bit further. We can disconnect these connectors. We've got this one here. And then we move the motherboard out further. And now we can actually disconnect the power. And now we can actually slide the whole motherboard out of the unit. Okay. So here's our motherboard here. Um, we have two memory slots there. Um, and we actually have, uh, very nice of them, to give us the two PCI Express uh, slots there that will support RAID controllers, video cards, um, whatever you want there. Um, I actually um, have been successful in putting a Dell Perk controller in one of these boxes. And by moving the SATA cable around, I was actually able to plug this SATA cable into the array controller for that Dell Perk. It was a Dell Perk H200. Not the best uh, controller in the world, but it served its purpose. Um, also, once again, there's that USB 2.0. Um, it's a brilliant location. You can put in whatever memory stick you want. You've got plenty of uh, height, so you're not limited there. So there's the little motherboard. Um, just basically, you're going to repeat the process to put it back into the unit. And this is a lot harder when you're trying to do it on camera from the side of the unit. Because everything likes to catch. So, basically, the easiest way to do this is to reverse the order. Power in first. Move those connectors out of the way. Slide the unit in further. If you pull that out. Like I said, it's a lot easier when you're in front of the unit versus trying to plug it in from the side. Okay. Once again, we have our 
thumb screws over here. Okay, we have our cables over here that we're going to put back into that clip. Okay, so now the motherboard's back in, and we can of course put the hard drives back in. So, I've had great success with this little box, it's been bulletproof, I've had lots of customers using them. Um, I love the footprint, I love the size and its performance is great for being an AMD processor box with a dual core. So this is Matthew with Go Reboot. If you like these videos, please give me a thumbs up. Also, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel so I can do more of these.